The other week I was having a conversation with my friend about AI and he said that this feels like our generation's version of Oppenheimer where we take a look at it and we go, what have we done? Welcome to Monday Mornings with Kyle Reed, the only weekly show where the host believes that the downfall of humanity will be AI as well as nuclear holocaust. If you have not seen the news, OpenAI, the company behind Dolly and ChatGPT, they just announced their uh, whole text to video converter and it's very scary. It's not something that I am very excited about. From a technological standpoint, it is really freaking cool. The fact that you can just type in whatever prompt that you want to type in and all of a sudden, boom, you get you get a video just made by a, a text prompt. On the other hand, this is a very scary thing because once it starts getting available to the public and people can start using it in ways that it was not intended for, that's where it, it kind of gets a little scary. If you're wondering what this AI video creator thing can do, all the videos that have been playing behind me in this video, aside from this one, has been generated by Sora. Sometimes you can take a look at it and you can go like, okay, yeah, it's kind of obvious that this looks like an AI made this, you know, this, you're not going to be able to fool anyone with this but then you see some stuff like this this is the video that scares me the most because this motherfucker looks real it is scary accurate to how a actual human being looks if I was scrolling on Twitter and I saw this video clip I wouldn't even think twice of it and that is what's super scary is the fact that I wouldn't think twice about it there's a few videos like this one for example where it looks like it's just like a really good render where someone who's like really good at visual effects made this which I can see that being scary for like visual effects artists and stuff like that. Me personally, I'm not really too scared about AI taking the jobs of creatives. I still think that humans crave human creativity. Also, there's always gonna need to be some sort of human creativity behind the, the creation of AI. There's always a human typing up the prompt or whatever. It always comes from a human mind. I don't think creatives should be that worried about AI. I think some industries like the stock footage industry is completely fucked. Anyone who is like making a living off of selling stock footage, you're probably gonna lose your job. What I'm really worried about is, like I said, this clip right here, where this guy looks real as fuck. Last year, when we were all making those those, those videos of the presidents gaming with each other and saying some heinous stuff to each other. I mean, I got in on the trend. There's these videos flying all over the internet. It was a very funny thing, right? But we all knew that it was AI. We all knew that these guys weren't actually shit talking each other over a Minecraft video game. But what happens when AI gets so good, when you combine all elements of it, when you combine the deep fake technology of grabbing someone's voice and getting an AI to say anything that they want, that someone wants them to say, and then also you grab this AI video technology and and you type in a prompt of having them do whatever they want you want them to do. Deep fake technology is gonna get really scary really fast. It already has been getting really scary really fast. And so what happens when someone who's like just really fucked in the brain makes a clip of one of our world leaders saying some some real dumbass shit and boom, nukes everywhere. Boom! dead. <laughs> Look, there's enough video footage of me online where someone could probably put my face on someone who is robbing a convenience store or something like that and they have video video proof of me doing that. And it's like, how, how am I supposed to say no, that's wrong? How am I supposed to say no, that's not me? We gotta have some sort of way to kind of decode AI because I don't think a watermark on Sora is gonna do anything. I don't think putting a watermark on AI video generated videos is going to be a helpful thing. I'm not scared of AI in like the typical ways I feel like people are scared of AI. Like I feel like most people like artists and creatives are worried about AI taking their jobs. I know that was a big thing with graphic designers when Dolly came out. I'd honestly, if I was a visual effects artist, I might be a little bit worried about it. This looks like just a really good render. When do we get to the point where someone can just type out an entire storyline into the text prompt and then boom, they get their fucking, their movie made just like that. Not that I think that will be a very effective way of doing it. I still 100% truly believe that, you know, in things like movies and, and this, for example, movies and music, you're always going to need that human brain behind it, especially with like content creation. That's why I'm not really too worried myself because tell me if I'm wrong. I don't think any of you guys would ever fucking sit down and watch an AI content creator. But then again, it's going to get to the point where this shit is so good. You're not even going to be able to tell if it's AI or not. I've never been afraid of AI until I saw the, the text of video creator. Dude, I keep bringing it up, especially this clip. When I saw this clip, I was like, okay, 
we've gone too far. And I wouldn't say it's OpenAI's fault. If they didn't make it, someone else is gonna make it. And another scary thing too is that this is the very, this is the only, like the first version that they're announcing to the public is only gonna get better in the sense that it's only gonna get more realistic. If you've seen like the Corridor video, the Corridor digital videos of them doing like deep fakes, there's a huge process that goes into making a deep fake. We're gonna get to the point where that process isn't as huge. So imagine you have a video of a guy just going like this. Boom, deep faked. I'm fucked, man, I'm fucked. When I first saw this, I thought to myself, am I making the right decision? Should I stop pursuing this career on the internet? Because anyone's gonna be able to ruin me. And then I said, well, no, I'm fucked in the brain and nothing's gonna stop me from achieving <laughs> what I want to achieve. And I'll just, I'll just worry about it in the future, I guess. <laughs> I am genuinely curious about what you guys think about AI. So let me down, know in the comments down below what your opinions about AI is. I don't think people realize how bad this shit's gonna get, I will leave you with that. <laughs>